Cinderella and the Sneakers of Speed. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Tectonia, there lived a clever and kind-hearted girl named Ella. She lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters in a tall apartment building that swayed a little when the wind blew because it was made entirely of recycled glass and solar panels. Ella's life was a bit tricky. Her stepmother, Madame Circuit, was always making her do chores like cleaning their hover bikes or organizing her sister's virtual reality goggles. Her stepsisters, Glitch and Spamella, spent all their time posting dance videos to their Stargram accounts and never helped at all. But Ella didn't mind too much. She loved tinkering with old gadgets and dreamed of becoming a famous robot engineer one day. The mayor's mega masquerade. One day, the mayor of Tectonia announced a mega masquerade ball, a dazzling party at the Sky Dome, where the brightest minds in tech and science would show off their inventions. The winner would get a full scholarship to the Future Minds Academy, the best school in the world. Oh, I wish I could go, Ella whispered to her pet cat, Pixel, while she scrubbed the solar windows. But of course, her stepmother laughed. You, at the Sky Dome, with your greasy coveralls and dusty sneakers? Dream on! Still, Ella hoped. She had been working on something special, a pair of self-lacing Turbo Boost sneakers that could run faster than any car in the city. She called them the Sneakers of Speed. The night of the ball arrived. Glitch and Spamella wore glittery dresses made from holographic fabric and left with Madame Circuit in their floating limo. Ella sighed and turned back to her workbench. Suddenly, her lab lights flickered, and with a soft zap, her fairy code mother appeared. She had rainbow-colored glasses and a cape made of binary code. Ella, darling, you've been coding, building, and dreaming. Just what a real innovator does, she said. Let's get you to that ball. She waved her stylus wand and poof, Ella's coveralls transformed into a sleek silver jumpsuit. Her tangled hair zipped itself into a stylish braid and her goggles turned into a dazzling visor. Her sneakers of speed upgraded with anti-gravity soles and glitter stripes. Just one rule, said the code mother. These sneakers run on moonlight. At exactly midnight, the power runs out. Off to the Sky Dome, Ella zoomed through the city like a streak of starlight. When she arrived at the Sky Dome, everyone turned to look. Whoa, who's that? Whispered inventors and influencers alike. Ella entered the invention showcase, shy but determined. She saw kids with robots that could dance, drones that delivered snacks, and even a machine that turned frowns into bubbles. But when it was Ella's turn, she simply smiled and said, these sneakers are powered by clean energy and let you run faster than wind. They're designed for fun and the future. She gave a quick demo, sprinting up walls and doing flips midair. The crowd cheered. Among the judges was the mayor's son, Prince Zane, a kind boy who loved science as much as Ella. Your sneakers are awesome. Maybe we can collaborate sometime, he asked, offering a fist bump. But just as Ella started to smile, she saw the time. 11.59 p.m. Oh no, she gasped. She turned and dashed out of the Sky Dome, sneakers glowing dimmer with every step. As she reached the park near her apartment, the power ran out completely. She tripped and tumbled onto the grass, just as one sneaker slipped off. Beep. When her wristwatch, midnight, the search for the smart sneaker. The next day, Prince Zane made a citywide announcement. I'm looking for the genius who made the glowing, gravity-defying sneaker. If this is yours, come to City Lab. Glitch and Spamella tried to squeeze their feet into it, but the sneaker just beeped and said, user not recognized. When Ella finally arrived at City Lab, wearing her dusty old coveralls and nervous smile, the sneaker lit up and chimed, Welcome back, Ella, and Zane grinned. I knew it was you. Your design is amazing, and the city could really use your ideas. Happily ever after with code. From that day on, Ella became the lead engineer at Tectonia's Innovation Center. She worked with Zane and a team of young inventors to create eco-friendly tech for everyone. Her stepmother and stepsisters? Well, Glitch became a dance instructor. Spamella opened a bakery, with drone delivery, of course, and Madam Circuit took up knitting but with laser yarn. As for Ella, she never needed a crown or a carriage. She had brains, bravery, and sneakers. And that was enough to take her anywhere she wanted to go. And they all lived happily and high-techily ever after. The end.